you want that soft life you want that sugar in your bank account in your assets and everything you want to be a big girl please check the link below my video sugar daddy mate it's where you'll get each and every sugar daddy you desire it's your choice if you want to choose this one you want to whichever type of sugar daddy you want you want to drive a sleek car without struggling like me the link is below hello world welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing great for those who haven't subscribed kindly do so struggling with a man it's not an achievement especially in this today's economy no if i get somebody's husband who is rich i don't want to say financially stable but he's rich in his own way and he's willing to share what he have my dear sister i'm not gonna leave your husband mm -mm. and i'm not telling that man to divorce you no i want you to be there my presence in your husband's life it's finance as long as I'm getting finance, my needs are being taken care of, you can take your man wherever you want. Brag with him, take him to your church every Sunday. Whatever you want to do, it's none of my business. He loves me, he's not ready to marry me because most of the married men, they don't want to get married to another woman. They are using this imported culture of monopoly, right? You don't want to marry me, take care of me. I'm giving you the fun your wife is not giving you. Take care of me. Buy me a house, buy me a car. Take care of me. If I have kids on top, you'll take care of them. It's your problem. Whether they are yours, they are not yours. But as long as I have kids, you are dating me. Because when you love a chicken, you have to love the chicken and the chicks. Is it not true? When you have a cow and this cow give birth, is that calf? your child no but you're taking care of that cow with the calf that's the same situation with me so i'm not struggling with anybody's uh, son no 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 no. i want a ready-made son because i'm ready-made i've made myself i've worked on me <laughs> hey, i've built me i am me how i am it's what attracted you to me I'm financially stable on my own way. I have elevated my life. That's why you saw me and you say, wow, look at my woman. She's just a goalkeeper staying back home. She's doing nothing. She's dirty sometimes, or the only thing she can do, it's nagging. Look at this one. Let me try her. I will not nag on you. No, 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 no. And I'm not your side chick. No, I'm your concubine, elevated concubine. So if you know, <laughs> or you feel like I'm dating your husband don't run away don't leave that marriage stay there because the day your husband will stop giving me money is the day I will leave you with that your husband and I will never fight for him never I will never fight you I'm a concubine to make your husband happy yeah you have to pay for entertainment no entertainment is for free okay married women when you see a husband with a side chick, stop crying, stop leaving your marriages. Some women are there temporary. They will leave. That's my point. Are you getting me, sweetheart? This thing of you crying, starting, start, uh, you start talking about your man, talking bad about your husband is so wrong. When he cheats, he's with another woman. Just know this woman is there for money, especially if your husband is financially stable. And I will never have a child for your man. Never. If it's money I want, it's money I collect. If I have kids, I know I will take care of my kids on my own without your man. So if I'm dating your husband, like now I'm going to somebody's husband. A date with somebody's husband. You see, those are my shoes. When I reach there, I want to match everything. Those are my shoes. I'm wearing something which will match my trouser. You see. So with those shoes, I cannot drive. But I have shoes which I drive. 
so i have shoes already here i'm going to see your husband after i see your husband i have a dinner date we are not going to our hotel to quichi quichi no it's just a dinner date after a dinner date with your husband i'm going back to my place your husband is coming back to you you want to make noise and start nagging it's your problem but the best thing i can advise you when your husband comes back home welcome him oh baby oh sweetheart oh no no oh to, 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 to. you've come back you're welcome because he will that uh, the happiness he when he was with me he was so happy he will expect he will extend that happiness to you but when you start nagging that mood goes off the happiness goes off so i want him to extend that happiness to you i want you to be happy too oh this light is off oh my god let me leave it like that i want him to extend that happiness to you you have you are happy if you've cooked for him he says he's full don't force him if he's a drunkard add him more alcohol go to his uh how do i say to his laptop to his phone look at his bank account look at what is left can you transfer it that's what a brave woman can do ah how many assets do we have i want some asset in my name not nagging that your husband has a side check men will not stop having side check this monopoly thing is an important thing by the col colonies but a real african man a real not only african man any man is a polygamy if you find a man who is not a polygamy like my dad that's the only man who exists who is loyal but the rest they are polygamists my dad is a very loyal man one woman man and i salute him for that but most of the men remaining they are polygamists he comes back home he's from the side chick he's happy add him alcohol if he's not an al alcoholic have fun with him again finish him by riding him you understand i don't want to talk about it finish he's sleeping he's snoring go through his phone how many phones does he have go through all his phones check his bank balance account how much do we have because between you what your husband has is for you guys both of you how much do we have our asset our business our salary our this collect what you can collect when he wakes up sweetheart you see that a plot of land which we are doing this and that i want to go there and look for this and this you know you are elevating your life in style if maybe that's our husband who is your husband and i'm the concubine he's not satisfying you stop crying even me he's not satisfying me but i'm not crying it's the money i'm collecting that's it you have a farmhouse calculate how you are going to be sleeping with that you are a bulky in the farm that's your watchman you are gardener make him put that schedule by himself without him knowing sweetheart i want to be going to the farm but you are the one to plan with the day i have to go and the time make the day for me he will feel like oh my wife is so stupid blah blah blah. he doesn't know that he's planning for you how you will be sleeping with that guy maybe he'll be saying on wednesday and on friday or on wednesday and on sundays after church is when you'll be going to the farm you call your aboki aboki every this and this day i'll be coming to the farm but after you've created a relationship with him you know he will not talk blah 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 so every sunday you know it's your d day you understand your d day your d eggplant day you go there you collect your eggplant you go back home as a happy woman the chickens are doing great the pigs the cows the this are doing great our site is doing great the house is okay our foreman is doing good but you know it's your d day you're collecting that thing you know he's the one who has planned for you without him knowing so where's the problem why are you complaining he's cheating on you cheat on him too in fact roughly cheaply that the day he will discover he will hate himself cheat for that it's a fair game i collect your man for money he cheats on you with me cheat on him with someone else if you have someone who is better with a good d for a d day he is financially stable you can leave your husband for that man it's your choice but this is my tactic a little bit the others you'll add them by yourself okay okay so let's go together <laughs> and see this how do you call this somebody's husband 
somebody's husband i wish to put my phone here but it doesn't stay let me remove itself it doesn't say well that's why most of the times i i put my phone like this we are going for somebody's husband that's our, our shoes we are going for dinner i want a public dinner in fact when i'm dating somebody's husband and this person is kind of ruthless i take him in public places so that we look like friends no one will notice anything but if he's a very nice gentleman we go private places this one is kind of ruthless i'm taking him in a public place okay let's go together for our dinner so please go to the link below scoop yourself a sugar daddy drive a sleek car live in a very cool palatial plus has estates get a community you own you don't rent if you get somebody's husband it shouldn't be your problem jewelries when you go to the link under my bio and you register never everything on your body will be original so my dinner was good the food was nice the guy was sweet the money was the best part i collected my moolah and now i'm just going home normally i don't like videoing my financial partners partners who i am with them financially who are in relationship but there is one who is getting divorced i'll bring him here soon <laughs> thanks for watching till next time bye bye